a Netherlands-based Chinese firm was ordered by the United Kingdom government to sell its majority stake in the country's largest semiconductor foundry for national security reasons. Nexperia, a wholly-owned subsidiary of the Shanghai-listed Wingtech Technology, said it was informed by the UK Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy that it had to dispose of at least an 86% stake in the Newport Wafer Fab in Welsh. During the Opium War, Britain held the banner of free trade and opened the gate of China with ships and cannons. Now, in the name of national security, the UK is forcing Chinese companies to sell 86% of the shares of the UK's largest semiconductor company, shutting out Chinese companies. Although 182 years have passed, and the status of China and Britain has been dramatically reversed, the nature of British robbers has not changed. This is not only forcing Wingtech to sell 86% of the equity in the Newport Fab in the UK, but also a swindle for Wingtech as assets. The legal basis for this policy in the UK is the National Security and Investment Act 2021, which came into effect on January 4, 2022. However, Wingtech Technologies' acquisition of the Newport Fab has completed all procedures as early as August 15, 2021. According to the principle of non-retroactive law, the British government has no right to force Wingtech to sell any equity in the Newport Fab. Therefore, the British government is deliberately suppressing Chinese companies. Although the fact that the Newport Fab is the largest chip production plant in the UK, its technology is not advanced. When Wingtech acquired the Newport Fab, it was questioned by the Chinese domestic media. The Chinese media's doubts are not unreasonable. Because the Newport Fab has basically nothing to do with technological advancement. So, why did Wingtech acquire this backward semiconductor factory? What impact will the British government's coercion have on it? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Ok, let's move on to today's topic. Newport Fab is a low-end chip manufacturing plant with outdated equipment, backward technology, and perennial losses. The British regard the Newport Fab as a treasure, but the Newport Fab in mainland China is not considered advanced, let alone industry-leading. Its highest chip production process is 180 nanometers, and most of its products are in the 200 nanometers process. Mid to high-end chips can't be produced here at all. It mainly helps Germany's Infineon OEM low-end automotive chips or power chips. However, Wingtech acquired the Newport Fab for two main reasons. First, Wingtech Technology's own chip production capacity is insufficient. After the acquisition of the Newport Fab, it will be able to rapidly expand its chip production capacity through technical transformation and equipment upgrades. The second is to detour from the UK and use the Newport Fab to introduce advanced lithography machines from the Dutch ASML company to achieve high-end chip manufacturing in a curved manner. In addition, due to the boom in semiconductor investment in China, Wingtech's acquisition of the Newport Fab will also help boost the stock price. When Wingtech Technology wholly acquired the Newport Fab, the Newport Fab was on the verge of bankruptcy, with debts exceeding £38 million. It was Wingtech Technology who invested 564 million yuan and wholly acquired the Newport Fab, which brought it back to life and helped the Newport Fab pay off all its debts. In addition, Wingtech Technology also promised to continue to invest 100 million US dollars to build new advanced production lines and expand employment by 10%. But the current situation is that Wingtech Technology has spent huge sums of money to help it repay debts and invest, and in a blink of an eye, the British government will drive this Chinese company away. When the Newport Fab was about to die, the UK recruited Chinese companies to come in to take over, when it came alive, the UK immediately changed its attitude. This kind of behaviour is clearly exploiting Chinese companies. In addition, the technology leakage and a national security threat claimed by the British government are completely fabricated. Because, the Newport Fab we just mentioned is a factory with backward technology. If it weren't for China to buy Dutch lithography machines in another way, the Newport Fab would be a junk asset in the chip manufacturing industry. In other words, why wouldn't there be a company in the UK to take over this company? Isn't it because the technology of the Newport Fab is too backward? 
If the Newport Fab really has the world's leading semiconductor manufacturing technology, how can its price be as low as 564 million yuan? By the way, Wingtech Technologies' net profit in 2021 was 2.612 billion yuan, and its total revenue will exceed 52.7 billion yuan. It bought the largest semiconductor factory in the UK for a fraction of its revenue. In my opinion, Wingtech's biggest mistake is that it did not ship all the equipment from the Newport Fab directly to China, leaving the British company with an empty shell. Besides, staff at the UK's largest microchip factory have urged the business secretary to U-turn on his decision to force its Chinese owners to sell a majority stake. Its staff association used a letter to Mr. Shapps to argue that their livelihoods had been placed at risk by the ruling. The letter said, We are in disbelief that you have decided to order Nexperia to sell their semiconductor factory in Newport. We are also angry that your decision might imply that a member of our team may, in some obscure way, undermine the UK's national security. This is beyond contempt. At this moment, the UK is forcing Wingtech to sell 86% of the shares in the Newport Fab. For Wingtech, it can only sell it at a discount. Then, it must lose hundreds of millions of dollars. What's more serious is that the British government's discrimination and prejudice against Chinese companies is the fatal blow. The British government is crazily implying to the Five Eyes Alliance that there is no need to be polite to Chinese companies, just confiscate what should be confiscated, and expel what should be expelled. This will have a very bad impact on the investment environment of Chinese enterprises. This is not the first time that the UK has forcibly expelled a Chinese company. The last time it forcibly banned Huawei 5G. Canada, which is also part of the Five Eyes Alliance, also forced three Chinese companies to withdraw their investment in Canadian lithium mines, while Australia broke the contract and leased Darwin Port to China for 99 years. In terms of hindering Chinese companies' overseas investment, the Five Eyes Alliance is highly consistent. They broke the banner of the so-called free competition with their own hands, intervened in the normal market competition of Chinese companies with administrative orders, and severely damaged the market environment. This will only lead to the escape of Chinese capital from the Five Eyes Alliance and into other regions such as the EU, the Middle East, ASEAN, and South America. Judging from the current situation, the UK's withdrawal from the EU will be of great benefit to China. Otherwise, it will do its best to disrupt the investment cooperation between China and the EU. To be honest, I have never quite understood the British behaviours in recent years. It is obvious that Britain's industrial technology has seriously lagged behind the times, but it still regards itself as an empire on which the sun never sets. In my opinion, this is not just arrogance, but also ignorance. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.